Stephen Fulton's cool boy nickname typifies his boxing style in the ring. He is a fighter who has all the slick boxing skills to have a successful career and potentially be one of the pound for pound best in the sport. He is from the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia, where fighters always have an expectation from the outside, maybe due to the history associated with Rocky or even Creed in more modern times. But it is in fact a city that has always produced great champions and true pugilists such as Meldrick Taylor, Joe Frazier and Bernard Hopkins to name a few. Stephen Fulton arguably fits into one of the greats already, having become a unified world champion at 122 pounds and only seems to be getting better. In this boxing style analysis today, I'm going to take a closer look at what makes Fulton one of the coolest fighters out there right now. But first up, let's have a look at his background. As mentioned, Fulton was born in Philadelphia, with a very tough upbringing with crime and violence all around him, with childhood friends being killed and people around him selling drugs. But Fulton chose a different route. After his dad came out from prison, he introduced him to boxing, and Fulton has always been grateful for him for that. He said, My dad, Stephen Fulton Sr., came home got me into boxing and I began to focus all of my experiences growing up, like losing friends to the streets, into the anger, rage and hostility in the ring. That's given me all that I need to be successful and I'm truly grateful for my father for getting me into boxing. From here, it has only been up for Cool Boy. Trained out of the James Schuler Boxing Gym in West Philadelphia, Fulton earned amateur titles in the silver and golden gloves. He's also been trained by the late great trainer Nazim Richardson, who trained the likes of Shane Mosley and Bernard Hopkins. And there's no doubt his influence helped shape Fulton into the fighter he is today. And the proof is in the pudding, as he won his first world title and then unified versus Figueroa in 2021. But now, let's have a look at his boxing style. As mentioned, Fulton is a slick boxer, whose style is best when being an outpuncher or counterpuncher. However, when the opportunity arises, he will take those opportunities when on the inside. But he doesn't most look comfortable when he's using his jab or lead hand with a bit of distance between him and his opponent. His stance and balance has been perfected for his style as he shimmies backward and forwards while changing the level of his lead hand to set up his punches, quickly cover up, or get behind his lead shoulder. This leads on to what he does best. The lead hand. Now Fulton's lead hand is the best weapon in his arsenal. Everything comes off this punch. We're looking to study a more recent fighter who uses the jab in different variations, he is the man to watch. He will use it in the following ways. To probe, feint, double jab, Jab to the body, throwing the hook off it, the up jab, set up the right cross, or fire it from different angles and level changes. I would probably say he is one of the best jabbers in boxing right now due to how he's constantly changing the way he uses it. This therefore creates the hesitation for his competitors as they get into the fight and they don't know or can't keep up with what Fulton will do next. Footwork Feet first in boxing is key. It helps you offensively by getting yourself into range to throw punches, while defensively it can help you move in and out of danger of your opponent. From watching any of Fulton's fights, you can tell he's very well trained in his footwork and stance. If we take a closer look at his feet, they are hardly coming together and they are parallel, with the knees slightly bent, always in perfect balance for offense or defense. This therefore helps Fulton in his smooth style when he uses his jab, sets up combinations, counter punches or evades punches. He is a very good example of doing the fundamentals correctly. When going forward or throwing his jab, his feet move with his front foot, and when moving out of range, he uses his back foot. 
Furthermore, his great natural balance, he'll sometimes break the rules and cross his feet to get off centre line when moving to his left. One of the other tricks you'll often see Fulton use is the foot pivot. Mostly, he'll do this to get himself out of trouble, especially when the heat is on. This takes a lot of skill and good timing, as he usually bends with his waist before moving out the way. Actually very similar to how the great Cuban champion Rigandau or even Floyd Mayweather have done in the past to get out of danger. Defense Now a big part of defense comes from brilliant footwork, as just discussed. However, I wanted to touch on some other areas he will use in his style. Being from Philly, he will use the famous Philly shell roll at times and will use waist movement to dodge punches. He doesn't do this too often, but it certainly gets him out of certain situations. Against far more aggressive fighters, sometimes you'll have no choice but to use a high guard defense and block shots with his gloves. If he gets pushed back to the ropes, he'll keep in his higher guard defense before using lateral movement so he doesn't get trapped there. Another area I wanted to touch on was his use of just basic wrestling. When he gets an aggressive fighter trying to push him back onto the ropes, he'll look to try and tie them up by underhooking his arms and then turning his opponent round to the ropes. This really works for Fulton in terms of getting himself out of trouble, back into centre ring or even the ref to break so he can get back into his offence. Inside fighting. As mentioned before, he's had to face quite aggressive styles of fighting. Often you would see him get hit cleanly from time to time, but I feel since he's become champion, is really starting to improve his inside game. On the inside, you'll often see him use uppercuts, hooks, before using a defensive maneuver, or even attacking the guard before going to the body, and he always seems to get through. But what he does best for me is setting up his right uppercut. He will throw it, then immediately go to the body with hooks, which often will see his opponent drop their guard again before he fires a nice crisp uppercut again. He's always changing the target of his punches when on the inside and seems to be improving with each fight. For me, it won't be long before he's a complete fighter, but I do believe he should stick to what he's best at and fight on the outside as much as possible. Counterpunching and setups. Now the other part of Fulton's game I love is just his great overall counterpunching. Due to his outpuncher style using his jab, it will eventually frustrate his opponent and make them overcommit to try and land the big shot. Fulton for the most part is always ready for these punches and will tend to use the counter left hook or right uppercuts or straights as they come into distance. In terms of setting up other punches, it all comes off the work he does with the jab but also just his use of feints, level changes and upper body movements which really help Fulton to find different gaps in the opponent's guard. Here he's able to throw different but simple combinations of punches. Even when on the inside, he'll catch shots with his gloves before firing back with a counter. Ring IQ Now the final topic I want to address is just his ring IQ as a whole. He is just a very smart fighter. He understands the importance of distance and controlling the pace of the fight. Before his fight with Leo for his first world title, he was involved in a Reddit Q&A where he answered some questions about his boxing IQ and how he thinks in the ring. I'll leave the link in the description below for you guys to check out. But I wanted to cover this response by Fulton and give you an example of how he thinks in the ring. The question, what's going on in your head while you fight? Like, do you keep rhythm or talk to yourself or silence? And Cool Boy Fulton's response was, I keep rhythm and I do talk to myself and analyze him, read body motions, trying to manipulate my opponent's brain and his IQ as well. I try to throw him off his game. A brilliant example of this is in his fight against Avalar, who was a southpaw. Usually when a southpaw is defending against the jab, he will try and block it with his lead hand and then slip to his left or even bend that far to try and dodge an incoming right. When Fulton was facing him, obviously he was going to throw his brilliant jab. He would mix it up against Avalar by doubling it up. Eventually he was able to identify that Avalar was bending to his left often. Watching the fight, 
you can tell Fulton identifies this and immediately starts throwing that straight right or a looping right hook, catching Avalar many times as he did that same movement. This may seem like a minor thing for some, you can tell Fulton is watching and downloading what is in front of him, so he can then land his next punch. Final thoughts. Fulton's tough upbringing, great teachings and personal determination have helped him reach the top of the sport today. He has a brilliant blend of having the solid fundamentals while using all the slick advanced skills you'd expect from a fighter from Philly. His cool style is very much turning into his own, which I believe more will start to model after. I have no doubt you can continue to dominate in the years to come and continue to improve his skills even further. Personally, I would like to see him go for undisputed at £122, or even one day fight the monster Naoya Inui. And that wraps up this boxing style analysis. Let me know what you think of Fulton. Do you think he can dominate in the years to come? Make sure to check out my other breakdown of another Philly fighter, Jerome Boots Ennis, or why not check out my Inui breakdown. As always guys, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.